Hello and welcome to Recon Paint Gaming. I'm Patrick Patrick. Today we are going to be talking about tractoring. What happens when you get tractored, things that can trigger off of it, and then also things you can't do when you do tractor someone as well. So let's get into those rules. We're going to pop the rules right there. Tractor. A ship is tractored while it has equal to or greater than a specified or specific number of tractor tokens according to its size. A small ship requires at least one tractor token, a medium ship requires at least two tractor tokens, and a large ship requires at least three tractor tokens. A tractor tokens is the orange token that's right up there. So it's the same as when you get ionized. If you have a small base ship and you get at least one or more tractor tokens on you, you are then tractored. So that effect now gets associated to your ship. Mediums need two, large needs three. If you have more than what your ship requires, you are still tractored. It doesn't matter how many tractor tokens you have on you if that equals the number of your size. So just say, oh, my ship has like seven tractor tokens. That means I'm like double tractored. Nope. You are then tractored. It is then associated to your ship. And then you must follow the rules when you become tractored. The first time a ship becomes tractored each round, so it can only happen one time in the round, the player whose effect applied the tractor token may choose one of the following effects, and there are two. You can perform a barrel roll, so it is repositioning the ship, using the one straight maneuver template. The player applying this effect selects the direction of the barrel roll and the ship's final position. The other is to boost one forward, so it is not a maneuver, it is a boost, and you can only go straight. You can't boost to the right, and you can't boost to the left. You can only boost one straight forward. And it doesn't matter if you already boosted or barrel rolled that round. Because this is actually tractoring you, you still can get repositioned in those directions, even if you've performed that action what, during your turn or activation. The move cannot cause a ship to move through or overlap an obstacle. So this used to be an old rule in the previous editions. They have since updated it, and we'll go over those with examples later. But you can't be barrel rolled or boosted onto an obstacle, even if your ship has abilities that say that it can. After a ship is moved this way, if an opponent has moved it, meaning you don't have to. So if you haven't been boosted or barrel rolled, you don't have to go through this step because it is a may for the opponent that tractored you. The ship's player may choose to have the ship rotate 90 degrees left or right. If they do, that ship gains one stress token. And don't worry, I'm going to give you actual examples of what's going to happen when you become tractored. Just understand that certain parts of being tractored are going to go into effect, like assigning a tractor token and becoming tractored. It's up to the person that tractored you to then choose whether or not they want to boost or barrel roll you. If they do, then you follow the next step and say, do I want to now rotate my ship that was boosted or barrel rolled 90 degrees to give it better repositioning? If you do that, you then gain one stress. So if you don't get barrel rolled or boosted, or even if you don't choose to rotate 90, you don't get assigned also a stress token. That's only if you're choosing to rotate. While a tractor ship defends, it rolls one fewer defense die. And that's very important because, like I said before, it doesn't matter if you have one or 20. If you're a small base ship, you are tractored if you have any number of tractor tokens next to you. And those abilities don't stack. So even if you have 50 tractor tokens, you don't reduce your defense by 50. You reduce it by one because, again, the status effect that is applied to you is you are now tractored. So then you roll one fewer defense dice. Some specific weapons inflict tractor tokens instead of dealing damage. It will say, roll all of your dice, apply whatever you know modifications you have, they apply their modifications, and then before applying damage, you remove all the dice and apply that many tractor tokens instead. So even if you roll four hits and they get no, you know, they didn't roll any evades, Rather than doing four damage or one tractor and three damage, it is just all tractor damage or four tractor tokens. And that's only for the specific weapons that we have in the game currently. There are going to be other things down the line that probably do do tractors and damage or certain abilities that once you are damaged, you become tractored. So just keep that in mind for the special weapons that are currently in the game. Also, 
Just if you are a huge ship or epic player, huge ships have additional rules for tractor tokens, and you got to go see those rules as well. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this video, but there are specific rules for huge ships. They can still technically get tractored. Okay, so the rules are pretty straightforward. I'm now going to go over some examples with the actual physical ships in the board, which I, go, I know you guys love because reading and seeing are two different things. So let's head over to the table. Here is our first example. It is the engagement phase. Ubel is firing for its activation of the engagement. It is range one, and it is chosen to use the tractor beam cannon. So it does apply a range bonus, so Ubel does get an extra dice for being range 1. In this case, Ubel rolled 3 hits and a crit, and Arvel rolled 2 evades and 1 focus. Now I just want to pause for a second to give you a quick tip in certain circumstances like this. When you know that you are about to be either tractored or ionized, and you don't have the correct amount of evade dice to the hit dice, so in this case we know Ubel has 4 hits, Arvel has two evades and can spend his focus to add another evade. In this case, you're better off not spending that focus. Only in this instance to where Ubel has four, who Arvel has two, possibly three. It doesn't matter if you spend the focus or you don't. You're going to be tractored anyways because at least one of them is going to be applied to you, which then you will become tractored. If Arvel was, let's say, a medium or large base, then you might want to consider spending the focus because it will not tractor you if you only receive one tractor token on your base, and therefore you will not become tractored. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding whether or not to spend the focus in defense because if you're going to be tractored anyways, there's no reason to spend that focus on your defense. So back at the table, we're going to remove the two hits and the two evades leaving us with the focus that doesn't do anything for us, and we're left with a hit and a crit. Now, hits and crits don't matter when you're applying for the tractor cannon because you take these two hits and then apply two tractor tokens because you actually do need to keep track of how many tractor beam tokens you have next to you. So do try to apply as many tokens you have on you because there might be abilities that allow you to either remove it and if you have something like that you might be able to remove both of them and not become tractored so try to keep that many tokens next to you in order to show how many tractor tokens you have now that we've become tractored the opponent has the option to either boost you forward or barrel roll you left to right for this example, we're going to have to where Ubel wants to boost Arvel forward in the possible situation to where it doesn't hit the obstacle and leaves Arvel with very limited maneuverability after this turn. So in this case, it does fit. It did not overlap the obstacle, and Arvel was tractored one forward. Okay, we're going to fast forward to Colonel Jendin in the shuttle during the engagement phase because we're going to show you what happens to a ship when it becomes tractored and how it might affect your ship. Back at the table, we have Colonel Jendin attacking Arvel. It is range 2, it is through a rock, and Colonel Jendin is going to be using the primary attack. So it is rolled hit, hit, and one crit. Now, Arvel normally rolls three green dice, and because it's obstructed, it would get a fourth. Because it is tractored, we reduce the amount of dice by one, and then Arvel can continue and roll the dice. So I'm going to cover it again to where even though Arvel has two tractor tokens next to him, he still only reduced his agility by one. Now, there are other things that can stack on top of this, like if Arvel was strained, or if a ship was attacking from behind and had outmaneuver, or certain abilities that say while attacking at range one, reduce the ship's agility. So there are things that go, are going to stack. However, doesn't matter how many tractor tokens you have, if your ship is tractored, you only reduce it by one. We now are going to rewind the clock to when Ubel was shooting. So Ubel, remember, rolled three hits and a crit, while Arvel rolled two evades and a focus. If we cancel out all the dice and assign the two tractor tokens, we know that Arvel becomes tractored. Now it is the opponent's choice to either boost or barrel roll their opponent. 
they can choose not to do so. In this case, Ubel isn't going to barrel roll Arvel. If we then fast forward over to when Colonel Jenden was shooting, and rather than using a primary attack, uses the tractor beam cannon as well. We see the hit hit crit. Let's say Arvel blanks out and rolls absolutely nothing, and then is assigned more tractor tokens. Now let's say he does get another tractor token. He is still tractored. He doesn't become more tractored, and because he is already tractored, Colonel Jenden cannot then perform a boost on Arvel or relocate him with a barrel roll. And this is really important because if we go back to the rules that are right here, it says the first time a ship becomes tractored each round, each round, the player whose effect applied the tractor token may choose one of the following effects. So it doesn't matter if Ubel doesn't relocate Arvel after tractoring him. If another ship tractors him, you don't get to relocate him a second time. You either relocate him on the first time a ship becomes tractored or he doesn't get or she doesn't get relocated every other time you get tractored the rest of the round the other important thing to mention is you can be tractored by an enemy and also a friendly ship and when you do get tractored the first time you can relocate your ship in that same way by either barrel rolling it or boosting it and then if for some reason an enemy tractors you later you cannot be repositioned you are or already have been tractored. All right, in our last examples, we're gonna show you what happens if you fail the barrel roll and also after you're repositioned, what you're allowed to do. So let's say when Ubel shot, we've tractored Arvel and now he gets to decide whether to barrel roll or boost Arvel. In this example, Ubel is gonna try to barrel roll Arvel this way, which we know it will not fit, it's going to hit the rock. Now, it is important to point out that this is a barrel roll or barrel roll action because that's what it states under the tractor rules. If an opponent declares which way they're going to barrel roll you and that barrel roll fails because they are overlapping another ship or overlapping an obstacle, then it fails. And in that case, the ship is put back to its original position and it does not get repositioned. And in the last example we're going to show you, so we'll return to when Ubel was shooting. He has tractored Arvel and boosted him one forward, which we already know is going to fit. After the ship has been tractor beamed and repositioned, the person with this ship has the option to rotate their ship 90 degrees in either left or right direction. Now, if they choose to do so, like Arvel doesn't want to go through this rock, or he would actually like to turn and shoot back at Ubel for even thinking about shooting at him first, you then are assigned a stress token. So you do have to remember that. It doesn't say if you are not already stressed or any other you know, wording, you may rotate and get a stress token for doing so. So this is an important rule that a lot of people forget about is after they are tractored, they're allowed to rotate their ship. And this can be helpful in many ways. Like it can prevent you from getting shot at out of arc and, you know, triggering things like outmaneuvers to where you can turn and face your opponent. Or it can, you know, activate something. Let's say if you're a fang fighter, you can then turn your arc to face somebody. That way it can trigger their ability to add and evade to their role. So don't forget that you can rotate 90 degrees left or right after you become tractored, but only after they reposition you. So once you become tractored, they have to reposition you, and then you can rotate. You can't just rotate once you become tractored, because that's the steps that they have laid out, because they really didn't want someone to be tractored in front of a rock like Arvel just did, and they didn't want people tracting people onto rocks any longer, so that's why the rules have been rewritten in this way. So it can also help you from flying off the table because if somebody tractors you forwards and you are then that close to the edge, you can save yourself by rotating off or to the left or right. So again, that is the one step that is crucially missed by a lot of veteran and new players. So keep that in mind when you're playing. In this example, we have Sun Fock in the Nantex. It is executing a two forward and ends up positioning here. 
Now, it has an ability called Pinpoint Tractor Array. You cannot rotate your arc to your rear. After you fully execute a maneuver, you may gain one tractor to perform a rotate action. Now, this is crucial because the arc is already facing forwards. Sunfak can choose to tractor himself, in which case he will, because there are abilities that are going to stack later. Now, because it's tracted himself, he still has to reposition if they choose to. You don't have to, but in this case, Sunfak is going to choose to boost one forward. Now, because Sunfak did these specific steps, he has to rotate his arc either to the left or to the right. Then there is a card called Ensnare, which is a very nasty card. It is at the end of the activation phase, which at this point it is. If you are tractored, you may choose one ship in your mobile arc at range 0 to 1. Transfer a tractor token to it. So, Sunfak has also chosen to take the focus because it still has the ability to take an action. It is now the start of the activation phase. The arc is pointed at Luke, so he's going to choose to pass the tractor token over to Luke. And you might be wondering, you know, what happens when this occurs? It's, well, Luke has a token next to him, so he then becomes tractored. And when you do become tractored, the person who tractored you gets to choose whether to barrel roll or boost you. In this case, he's going to choose to barrel roll Luke to the right as forward as possible, meaning he's no longer able to shoot at Sun Fock. And also, Sun Fock is no longer tractored. So it's certain timing windows that will open up abilities and shut down abilities, because now that Sun Fock is no longer tractored or has a tractor token next to him, like I stated at the beginning of the video, when Arvel shoots at him, or even when Luke shoots at him, if it's an arc, Arvel doesn't have to reduce his defense die because he's no longer has a tractor token next to him. Even though at one point he was tractored, we have to then go through the steps and reduce or modify dice during the defense dice step, which then would say, if you're tractored, reduce your die, which we know Sunfok no longer is. And now that Luke has become tractored, if he's getting shot at, he does have to reduce his die because he has the tractor token next to him. And then also there's the other ability with Sunfok that says, while shooting at a ship that is tractored, you roll an additional attack die. So when Sun Fock attacks at Luke, he's going to be able to add that extra attack die. So you have to pay attention to when things get passed, when things are going to trigger, and then also if for some reason Sun Fock gets tractored again, he cannot barrel roll or boost because he's already been tractored at some point during the round. And then one more thing I'm going to note is Tractoring someone and then repositioning them, although you force them to barrel roll or boost, is not a boost or barrel roll action. So even if for some reason you have barrel rolled me, not during or before my activation phase, and I then activate and move my ship and choose to boost or barrel roll, even though if I was tractored, I still am able to boost or barrel roll because I haven't performed those actions yet another trigger or ability has forced me to barrel roll my ship or boost it. And there is differences between forcing someone to do something and performing the action to do it. Lastly, there are going to be certain abilities that force you to keep a tractor token on your ship, because normally they do get removed at the end of the round. But it's going to carry over into the next round, and you still are considered tractored. The only difference is, then if you get assigned a tr another tractor token, you can be repositioned. It's only once per round can you be repositioned. So just because you have a tractor token next to you and you say, no, I had it last round, you can't barrel roll me this turn. Yes, I can because I haven't done so this round. And because you're still tractored or have a tractor token next to you, even if you receive another one again, you reduce your agility by one. Okay, that's going to cover everything for Tractored, at least. I hope so. Uh, I hope you got something out of this video. And guys, thank you for watching these and leaving comments below for when I make a mistake. Because even after reading the rules vigorously, going through the forums for Atomic Mass Games, even sometimes I get something wrong or I misread something. And, you know, I sometimes don't catch it in editing. 
So thank you so much. Keep those coming because I'll pin your comment at the top and make sure that people see that when they watch the videos. Because as much as I hate making mistakes, they can sometimes happen. Thank you so much for every you know comment of videos that you guys want to see. I have already a large pool of videos that I want to make, especially for placing objective tokens. And I want to do, uh, you know, starter box games or a new walkthrough of how to play. And also, I want to make a new video on getting started with X-Wing because now we have these new starter sets and so on and so forth. So keep, please keep those messages coming. Keep commenting below on what you guys want to see, and I'll keep making them. And other than that, thank you guys. Have a good one and play casual.